Hey everyone, it's Raven and welcome back to the channel. Today I've got a video for you. Today we are going to be breaking down everything about Chapter 4 Season 2 because this season has been leaked quite a bit and there's the Pump Shotgun is returning. We're getting an Attack on Titan collab and we basically have the entire Battle Pass leaked so let's have a look at it. Okay, let's start with collaborations first. So we have more Resident Evil coming to the game, what with the Resident Evil 4 remake coming out soon. We have Leon S. Kennedy and Claire Redfield coming to the game this season apparently and that's pretty cool because right now we have Jill and we have Chris as I'm sure you all know because it's not really a secret anymore but the secret skin for the battle pass this season is Eren Jaeger from Attack on Titan and yes we're probably going to have mythic ODM gear which is similar to the Spider-Man mythic but it should work a little different because apparently there's a fuel system so I can't wait to see how that works not only that but we have Star Wars returning to the game with two new skins and not only just that and with those new skins, we're going to have lightsabers returning, and not only that, we're going to have new force powers with force lift, force jump, force lightning, force pull, force push, force rip, force script, and force vacuum. Those all sound pretty interesting, and I, I can't wait to use those force powers with a lightsaber. It's going to be pretty sick. Okay, and let's talk about one of the biggest things right now that we know that is coming, because it has been confirmed by some leakers that first person mode is coming this season. Which is kind of huge, because in Chapter 3, Season 2, we had Zero Build, and now Epic's pulling out the punches for Season 2, because they seem to always do that with Season 2, is they make a really big, they, they add a big addition to the game, and we're going to be getting first-person mode, much like how we got uh, Parkour and in Zero Build. I don't know exactly how it's going to work, are we going to be able to use it in Build mode? Are we going to be able to only use it in zero build? Is it going to be a, a toggleable setting, or is it going to be a, a, its own separate mode? Either way, it's really going to change up how we play Fortnite. It was kind of impossible to go without talking about this one because everybody's happy about this one. The pump shotgun is returning to the game now. Is it going to be the same pump that we all know and love, or is it going to be slightly different? I believe, and based on what uh, some leakers have said, I think it's going to be slightly different. So we'll have to see how that pans out, and hopefully it's actually strong, because a season without a strong shotgun is just kind of unbearable. Okay, here they are, the skins. We have this lizard dude with a cool, like, 80s red Michael Jackson jacket on. We have the black bunny hood girl with the, pink, with the white and pink hair. She's really cool, actually. Um, some kind of masked hooded dude, maybe Oni mask. Uh, a glowing dude with a long trench coat. Aaron, of course, a uh, tiny little, like, anime glowing girl, kind of like she's made out of an element. She's pretty cool looking. We have a sh girl in streetwear, and she's kind of graffitied up. She's pretty sick. And, uh, and then this kind of, like, magical blue aqua girl. These are all solid skins. This looks like it can be a pretty great battle pass. Of course, and we do know the theme for this season, which is a futuristic Japanese theme akin to Neo Tokyo. And this just sounds crazy. We're going to have all these futuristic uh, Tokyo POIs, and apparently there are going to be grind rails uh, in these areas. And uh, we're going to be able to ride on them, kind of like akin to like Ratchet and Clank back in the day. Um, so that sounds, a pretty, that sounds like pretty great mobility to get around the island with. With this futuristic Japanese theme, we're going to have an old POI returning from Chapter 1, Lucky Landing. And I always wanted to go to this place, it always seemed so cool, but I didn't start playing Fortnite until Chapter 2. And because of the new futuristic setting, it seems like Epic are also going to be giving the cars a new coat of paint to look more futuristic, and they look pretty cool. The trucks are glowing, they almost look like they have a hover feature, like they, they look cool. Something else that Epic is working on is specialist versions of NPCs. Right now we can hire NPCs and they can help us out. They have a decent amount of health and they, they cause a nice distraction. Uh, but right now they're working on a heavy NPC, a medic NPC, a scout, and a supplier. And of course, the healer one. Uh, but, like, th these are really interesting because what's the heavy going to carry? Like, is he going to carry the, the minigun or an RPG? Uh, the medic apparently is supposed to splash you a couple times uh, every now and then. The scout, the only thing I can think of is that like maybe they like either they have the um, the flare gun and they ping every now and then, or or maybe they just have the augment on them, the um, or oh, what's it called, the uh, storm mark augment, and then the supplier, maybe they drop ammo or a weapon every now and then. That's all I can think of. Another brand new POI that's coming to the game is the Loot Island POI, 
It's going to be up in the sky near the rift gate, and I guess maybe one of the only ways you can get to it is either by gliding or by teleporting to be a rift. And it's probably going to have some pretty crazy good loot on it. Two more new weapons we have coming to the game are the smart pistol, which tracks onto enemies. And then we have the rope and chains grenade launcher, aka the chain grenade launcher. Can it like, can it wrap people up in chains or trip them up or... Uh, or maybe you can shoot it on the ground and it acts like a, a tripwire. So when they walk over it, they maybe they explode. Here are some of the new names for the POIs. Cyber Dragon, Dojo, Hot Springs, Loot Island, Neon City, Store, and Zen Garden. Hmm. I, I can't wait to see what Hot Springs looks like. It could be pretty cool. And from something else the leakers are saying is that there's going to be legendary augments. They're probably going to be pretty damn rare. Uh, you'll have to interact with augment chests to get them. Augment chests? That's new. I guess maybe legendary augments will only be available through augment chests, and hopefully the normal augments are still like we get them through the little uh, the little disc. Uh, the three that are going to be on the season launch are the reboot, uh, respawn on death. Now the thing about respawn on death uh, is will it work in solos? That's the question. And um, the augments have been pretty crazy, and also the uh, the heist exotics, the epic categories, have been pretty crazy. So I, I don't think they're against. Letting us respawn in solos. Uh, shield increase, which lets your shield go past the 200 capacity. I, I do know that. I've, I've heard about that one. And just straight up, just siphon. I mean, I'll take it. I love siphon. Okay, everyone, that was my quick look at the leaks for Chapter 4, Season 2. And I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys, because I don't have time to make a more long and in-depth video right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to be covering uh, Season 2 when it drops. Uh, I want to thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Take care.